They race away in over three miles, they'll jump 19 ascenses, and on the run to the first of them is a five years. Towards the outside of Fayette, so as they take offence at number one, they're all over it safely, rather lunging at the odds in order to start it down to something in the last place. There'll be around about 10 lanes between first and last as they make the left-handed turn back on into the home straight for the first time. There are five fences in a line along the next stretch. There's the five fields. A winner of Kelso in Hunter's case. Not so long back, as no doubt. Yeah. Safely enough. Or yes, in the two counts, two races in second. And then Rogie do the left in the left and white company. First of all, he's going to be dancing and sitting back to back. After a rather slow car run of first, last week, that was growing in fourth. And then a four length break back to Royal Deal in the green colour versus the inside of the starboard bow. And they are the last couple. So they've now got two more circuits in front of them. And they're going on towards the fence at number four. They're being taken there by five tiers. What's with loads of time about it, gets over that fence really neatly. In his second place on uh, touching down at four yes as they continue now on towards their first open dish and then he's been favourite. Five tiers. Running along in front of them jumping well to four yes and rose into the lane. And then he's been dancing a couple of lanes back then to start about. Royal Deal just getting left behind the moment they come up and over another leader now really beginning to open on the other road. Just coming back to the field of fractions on this part of the track. 
Heads on there towards the fifth fence from home and rather misjudged it, but been quite close. The thing he's done for the Blue Fleas has now taken a clear second. He lends away then to Rosie Dubourlet as Boyette begins to back pedal. As they cross another, five tiers jump as well, but I think they need it to. Now back in the left then is the start of Bell and Roy O'Neill beginning to close in on him a bit. So once again they head right across from us. They've got three quarters of a mile left to travel in the opener. And they have three more fences left to take. One going down the back, and then two further fences in the home straight. And five tiers has company. Rosie Dubourlet in the red and white along the inside. Red and blue to the outer of Phoenix Dancer. As they head into the dip, in fourth is VS, who at this stage is managing to keep up, and they clear right away from Royal Deal to now take fifth place from the start of the And five tiers gets over the third fence from home. Much more fluently than the Phoenix Dancer, who's lost second place to Rosie Dubourlet. Then yet as they're making the left-handed run and running inside the final three turns. And four tenths left to get across. Five tenths in the hands of Joe Ross. Out in the lead here from the park is Kelso Wynn. Rosie Dumoulin is giving chase to five tenths. Got over the second last boldly. Rosie Dumoulin certainly hasn't given up the chase so it's beginning to close the gap. Back in 30 seconds is Johnson. Heading to the final fence. Five tenths flat out over just a neck ahead. The far side Rosie Dumoulin is pet. Rosie Dubourlet with 150 yards to go to five tiers is now trying to get back on turn. The length and a half between the pair, driven out here, Rosie Dubourlet is going to prove too strong for five tiers, but it's Rosie Dubourlet who goes on to win. Then five tiers in second, Rossini Johnson in third, Royal Deal never nearer than at the finish, is going to 